Hello, everyone. Welcome back to MetaLab Life, where we explore the fascinating world of laboratory techniques. In today's video, we'll be delving into the manual method of measuring white blood cell count. So grab your lab coats and let's get started. Objectives. Our main objectives for today's experiment are threefold. Firstly, we aim to accurately count white blood cells in the chamber. Secondly, we'll be performing a reliable dilution of blood cells. And lastly, we'll calculate the number of cells per microliter. Let's dive into the principles behind this process. Principle when working with whole blood collected in EDTA, we follow a meticulous process. The blood is diluted based on the type of cell count required. The resulting diluted blood suspension is then carefully placed in a chamber where the cells are counted. The count is then multiplied by the dilution factor and reported as the number of cells per microliter of whole blood materials. Now, let's take a look at the materials we'll need for this experiment. Make sure you have a hemocytometer with a Neubauer grid, a cover glass, diluents, and a microscope. Methodology, here's how you can perform the experiment. Place the cover glass on the top of the grid area in the chamber using an airtight technique. Dilute your sample. Use a 120 dilution for WBC count and A1 to 200 dilution for RBC count and platelets. Load your sample into the loading area in the chamber. Count the cells in the four large squares for WBC. Calculate the number of cells counted per microliter. Sample dilution, let's talk about sample dilution. This step is crucial in preparing the whole blood sample for counting. Diluents are used to dilute the amount of WBC and RBC for accurate counting. The diluents also serve to lyse the RBC in platelets. Keep in mind that the diluents will lyse WBC as well, but it takes a longer time. Calculation, now, let's discuss the calculation process. Perform a 120 dilution. Load the sample into the chamber for WBC count. The hemocytes the hemocytometer contains two Neubauer counting chambers, each with four WBC counting squares, and each square contains 16 smaller squares.
As we wrap up today's video, we hope you found this manual method of measuring white blood cell count both informative and interesting. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more fascinating content, and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for joining us on MetaLab Life, and we'll see you in the next experiment.